Hello friends. My name is Miss D and I work at the Worthington Park Library. Are any of you starting kindergarten this year? Yeah? Well that's awesome. Well I have five amazing picture books for you to start your kindergarten year off to a great start. Let's get into the first one. The first book I have for you is We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Now, this book is about a dinosaur named Penelope. And Penelope, like many of you, is starting her first day of school, so she's really, really nervous. When she walks into the classroom, though, there's something different. All her classmates are kids. Yep, they're kids just like you. And Penelope thinks kids are delicious, so... She does what any dinosaur would do. She eats some of them, but not to fear. Her teacher makes her spit her classmates out. Now, the rest of the day, Penelope tries to make friends with her classmates, but they're all afraid of her because, of course, she thinks classmates are delicious. So the next day, Penelope decides this will be the day that I gain some new friends. But this day is even tougher than the first day of school. So Penelope looks over at the class pet, a goldfish, and decides maybe the goldfish could be my friend? Well, that doesn't go as planned. If you want to find out if Penelope is successful at gaining a friend or two, you should read We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Well, friends, let's get into our second book. The second book I have for you is Bird Hugs by Jed Adamson. Now, Bird Hugs is about a bird named Bernard. And Bernard is not like the other birds. Why? Well, his wings are a lot longer than the other bird's wings, which makes it impossible for him to fly. He tries and tries, but he just always ends up on the ground. So this makes Bernard really, really sad because all he wants to do is go flying like his other bird friends. So he ends up spending his days and his nights and as the seasons change, just laying on top of a tree branch until one day he hears a strange sound and that sound is coming from of all things an orangutan and the orangutan is really really sad and he doesn't know why so Bernard would do, do, does what any other bird would do or any other animal would do he decides to hug the orangutan and what does that do? It cheers the orangutan right up, and the orangutan is happy again. The next day, guess what? There's a line of other animals who wants hugs from Bernard. Bernard ends up finding out that just because his wings are longer and he can't fly, that he's not useless, but in fact, he has his own purpose. So if you want to read about more about Bernard and his journey, you should read Bird Hugs by Jed Adamson. Let's get into our third book. The next book I have for you is about a girl who loves to invent things. This book is called Izzy Gizmo by Pip Jones. Isn't she adorable? Well, this is Izzy, and Izzy is a brilliant, magnificent creator of all different types of gadgets. And she loves creating new things to help the people around her, except for the fact that a lot of her inventions fail, and they end up not working, which really frustrates Izzy. Try, she tries and tries and tries, and she, she never gives up, but her gadgets keep breaking on her. One day, Izzy runs into a crow, 
and she finds out the crow broke his wing. So Izzy decides to come up with an invention to help the crow fly again. Now, with all the failures Izzy has, she doesn't know if her new invention to help the bird will work. But she tries and tries and never gives up. So if you want to find out if Izzy is successful at helping her new crow friend fly again, you should read Izzy Gizmo by Pip Jones. I have two more picture books for you. The next one is one of my favorites. And it's also about an, an animal. Actually, two animals. A wolf and a bunny. This book is called Wolfie the Bunny by Amy Dykeman. Isn't he adorable? Well, there is a, a bunny family. A mama bunny, a daddy bunny, and a, a baby bunny. And the baby bunny's name is Dot. And one day, the bunny family finds Wolfie at their doorstep. He was, he was left at their doorstep. Uh, Mama Bunny and Daddy Bunny fall immediately in love with Wolfie and they take him in as one of their own. Now, Dot doesn't trust Wolfie. Why? He's a wolf after all. So Dot thinks that Wolfie will eventually get big enough to eat the entire family. But Wolfie is the sweetest wolf ever, and he loves the family as if they're his own. And Dot tries and tries and tries to get her mom and dad to see that keeping Wolfie probably isn't the best idea. Even Dot's friends are afraid of Wolfie. And this makes Wolfie really, really sad because all he wants to do is be a good baby brother to Dot and be a good son to Mama and Daddy Wolfie. One day, Dot takes Wolfie to the grocery store to buy more carrots because Wolfie ate them all. And when they get to the grocery store, they run into this huge bear and the bear tries to eat Wolfie. Now, Dot being the big sister, she has to decide whether she should run and this is her chance to get away from Wolfie or if she should help her baby brother, Wolfie. If you want to find out what Dot does next, you should read Wolfie the Bunny by Amy Dykeman. Okay, friends. We are on our last picture book. Let's see what the next title is. Ooh, this is also about a girl who loves to invent. This book is called Boxatex by Kim Smith. Now, you're probably wondering what a Boxatex is. We'll get into that. So Boxatex is about a girl named Meg. And Meg is actually a boxatect. And what a boxatect is, is someone who likes to create things out of ordinary cardboard boxes. And Meg happens to be an awesome boxatect. As you can see on the cover, she made a little castle out of ordinary cardboard boxes. Now, she's so creative that her mom decides to enroll her at the maker school filled with other kids who also loves to invent. Now, when Meg starts her first day at the maker school, she realizes she's the only box tech there. And she actually feels special being the only box tech because no one can do what she does until another girl starts there. It's also her first day. And her name is Simone. And Simone is just as good and just as brilliant and just as creative as Meg is. 
and this makes Meg a little bit jealous. Now, this, the class is holding an annual contest, and this contest is to see who can invent or create the best invention. And Meg and Simone are forced to work together to create the most magnificent creation out of boxes. The only thing is they're not getting along. They don't want to work together. They keep trying to one-up each other. Now, if you want to read more to find out if Meg and Simone can win the contest or if they end up not getting along with each other and losing the contest, you should read Box of Text by Kim Smith. Well, that's all the stories I have for you today. Uh, if you want to check any of these titles out, swing by any of the three Worthington libraries to check them out. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone.